Okay, here we are, a lap of Monza, the fastest track we go to all season. Make sure you get a good balance on this lowest downforce configuration that we run throughout the entire F1 calendar. On the run out of the last corner, make sure you get a nice clean exit, as it will only lose you speed if you don't. Look out for the 200 meter board into turn one. You want to break just after that because it's ever so easy to lock up the front or the rear end. Right hand, then left. Don't touch those curbs too much. You don't want to upset the balance and lose that traction on the exit as well. It's easy to wheel spin there before coming into the Curva Grandi, full throttle six, and then up into seventh gear. Now eyes to the bridge in front. Use that as a reference. Get the car over to the right hand side and break just after the 100 meter board. Don't use too much of the curbs. So you want to attack them relatively aggressively because you want to keep that momentum on the run out that corner towards the two Lesmos. Nice cambered in corner that helps the balance of the car. Not too much exit curb before the next Lesmo corner comes up at you pretty fast. Now onto this nice winding straight round this left hand corner. It's bumpy here. You feel the force going through your spine as the track compresses. Now up the hill towards the Ascari chicane. Brake and down three gears. You want to use all of the left hand curb available to open up the right. Hug the inside corner, flick the car to the left and look to the right hand side. Use that extra piece of tarmac to help carry the momentum down towards the parabolica. Now ease the car over to the left hand side. You can use this green piece of concrete as a reference where to brake before this brilliant corner, the parabolica. The car often understeers here mid corner, so having a good aero balance is important. Getting that final boost of curves, that sends you on your way to the start finish line to finish the lap here in Monza.